They knew that acting on screen was all about doing nothing. It's all about an actor's thoughts. The audience will look into an actor's eyes and try and read an actor's mind. The less emotive an actor appears, the more the audience will believe the performance is a complex one. Vane recognized that, and he mastered the technique. Vane did less than anyone had ever dared do before. Some critics found his style monotonous. They said he didn't bring much to the party. You got married to Katie Beaver, the script editor on The Rowdy Boys. Yes. I loved her, and she loved me. But the uh, marriage was short-lived as she died. Suddenly, that must have come out of the blue for you. Oh, God, it... It, it was a terrible shock. Not only to me, it was such a shock to everybody. But first, everything seemed normal. I went home where she was, lying in bed as usual, television blaring away. Everything is normal. Love making, same as ever. But then I became aware that the dishes were piling up. And that's when it occurred to you? Awful. God, it was awful. How did you cope? Well, Andrew, it was difficult. At first, I started to take these pills. Then I, I turned to drink. After three months, I decided I couldn't possibly kill myself. Because... My dear fellow, I owed the world a debt. I owed the world my great talent. I decided to throw myself into the production I was working on at the time. Hook, line and sinker. I put everything I had into that movie. Terror from outer space. Yes, that was it. But since Katie died, Andrew, I've boned many women. But Katie was the one and only true love of my life. William Edwards is known primarily for his low-budget, though highly profitable, films. He liked to work outside the studio system and created a formula for quirky characters, with big plots laced with social commentary and clever use of special effects. His films were typically shot in three weeks on extremely low budgets. The films you made with Edwards were not always well received by the critics, were they? No, what would they know? They don't recognise genius when they see it. Uh, you're referring to Edwards, I presume? Uh, yes, yeah. yes. Uh, of course I was referring to Edwards. His films were very popular with the young audience. In fact, in his way, he was something of a cult director. And of course, I myself, a cult actor. Me? I'm shitting myself here, man. He's got a play. <laughs> Fucking hell, man, you're gonna use that? Well, don't yes. fucking hold it unless you gotta use it. Come on, use it, man. Cut me. Cut me. Yeah, Come on, man, cut me. Yeah. Well, cut that fucking head. Cut that fucking head. You cut my fucking head. You cut my fucking head. Are you happy to be referred to as a cult? Yes. I've been called one many times. Hey, 
ain't a faggot. I like putting up the ass, but I'm in front of fucking chicks' asses, not fucking guys' asses. He is the faggot. You know what we call him? You know what we call him? You know what we call him? Psycho. That's what we call him. I ain't no fucking psycho. No, you don't call me a psycho. No one's psychic. You already call me. No one fucking calls me a psycho. You faggot fucking asshole. No one's psycho. No one's calling me a psycho. No fucker call me a fucking psycho. You fucking asshole. Psycho. Hey, listen, listen. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I'm fucking nuts, my fucking I'll fucking fuck. kill that bad fuck. You fuck with me. You fuck with me. You're fucking dead. Fuck 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 but I must candidly admit to you, Matthew, some of the films I've made have been real stinkers. But there is one particular film of which I am inordinately proud. And that film is... Hera from, from outer, outer space. space.